Hi guys, just playing with the components from this portable CD player I took apart last night and used the electric motor to drive a fan car or fan driven car. Um, as I said at the time when I took it apart, it looked like the only problem with it was the corrosion. I um, don't know if that will focus on here, but this is the battery terminals, and as you can see, they're completely corroded, the springs corroded, and the uh, little bump there that the battery presses against is also corroded and the back of it's completely corroded but the back doesn't really matter so I thought I wonder if it would work if I just put normal battery container back in there so I've jumped these two AA batteries onto the normal terminals and so now I've reconnected the little display if I press play See the display works, it's actually saying OP for open, so if I press the switch here that detects whether the lid's up or down, you see that works okay. It's trying to detect how many tracks there are at the moment, but obviously there aren't any, because we haven't got the rest of it connected up. If I press play, and it tries to play track one, but obviously there's nothing else connected. So I think all that was wrong with it was the fact that the battery terminals were completely corroded. The only problem I've now got, or quandary, is is it worth reassembling it and making it work? And I think the answer is probably no. Potentially somebody could open it and the laser would shine in their eyes. Although having said that, the switch is working properly, so that should automatically switch the laser off. So not sure whether to reassemble it into a working CD player or not. I don't need one, and personally I'd rather have the motors out of it and use them. So I might just reassemble it to prove that I can, and then take it apart again and use the bits. OK, let's see if we can put it back together. Not sure if it's worth just trying to clean that off. I might try that just to get it to work. Alternatively, I could cut up that piece that I've taken off another one. But I'll clean this one up because I'm just going to get it working and then take it apart again. Well, that didn't go quite to plan. I was happily reassembling it, got it all the way through, testing it, and realised the camera had stopped recording. So I've taken it apart again. Um, and I'll try and splice it in as best I can. So, got the circuit board back in place. Put the micro switch sliders back in place. So we'll put the motor assembly back in. I could always put a bit of duct tape over there. That's the feet. I took them off originally in case there was any hidden screws underneath them. Well, the display's working. I better find a CD and some speakers. Got some speakers, got a CD with some music on it. It's not detecting that I've shut the lid. Ah, I see. So we've lost. Yeah. So that's the other problem. Nothing to tell it the lid's down. Didn't notice that. Still says open. So the only way around that would be to override it and poke something in there. Oh, 
now it's detected it's got 15 tracks. I think that's visible. So this is a bit dangerous. Well, actually, no, it isn't dangerous because that's stopping it working. Um, uh, it's still not worth saving, but we'll try it out. Don't know what volume we've got set there. Just a very quick summary on why I'm not going to attempt to repair this. Uh, as I say, it is repairable. All that was originally wrong with it was the corroded battery terminals. There's a lug missing just there from the hinge, which I could um, either hot glue, well hot glue probably wouldn't work, I could super glue a piece of plastic on there or even melt a piece of plastic on there using a soldering iron and a bit of plastic so I could fix the lid but because the little pillar is missing from just there that goes into the lid detector switch over here because that's missing I could replace it but I'd be worried that it would break off again and potentially one of my grandchildren could get hold of this take the CD off and actually have the laser shining in their eyes. So I'm not going to repair it, but I am going to take it apart and use the bits. <laughs>